This is Twit. Can you give us sort of the, the 30,000 foot view, the high level view, and what problems you're trying to solve with this project? Uh, okay, I, I have to admit, I, I'm very happy to see wh what you just said as a small initial wrap up is, mm -hmm. is very precise. Uh, it started though on, on a different, with a different perspective. In fact, it, it, it's kind of a hybrid application. It is an application for Android, as you said, uh, and I ha would like to underline that it's freely available from the Google Play, obviously, but we also have packages you can download from the main website because we have reports from users in certain countries where Google Play is not accessible. Uh, so they, they can just download it from the website. Uh, so basically, the application has been born uh, as an engineering application. Uh, I work for an engineering company, uh, but it changed over time, or let's say it, it, it had a kind of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, two, two sides to the story. And let's, let's give a short idea about both. Uh, mm -hmm. If you open up, uh, Joe Paparazzi, you install it, open it up, you will have two main views. One is a dashboard view where you have all the nice buttons or the few buttons because it needs to be very simple uh, with the main operations. And then there is a map view, which is the really interesting one, which is the, the view where users will stroll on, on which you can uh, view your position uh, and overlay additional informations. So perspective one is the perspective of uh, any user that uses it more for touristic purposes and as a geo diary. As you outlined before, uh, you can put notes of, yes, I'm here, or this restaurant was really good, and just to share it with other persons. You can also put pictures, and you could also put sketches as uh, points of interest over the map. The real good part is that we, uh, we are able to use offline maps. So the OpenStreetMap projects and the Maps Forge projects, maybe we'll talk a little bit about it later, uh, supplies a vector format that can be used offline. And, and it's possible to have, uh, let's say, the whole of Italy or Germany in half a gigabyte, a gigabyte. So you can have really a whole country or more than one country on your phone, and you can use it from everywhere in offline mode, which is really, really cool. Because I don't know about you there, but here it's kind of like developing country. If you start to go countryside, you, you really lose connection. So a part of these notes, these points, uh, you can also log your your position, uh, your, not not really your position, but your trip. So it will create a line uh, of all the GPS positions you go through, and so you can really keep log of of your trip. But another thing is uh, very nice. You can prepare your trip before you start. So through some geocoding functions that are available inside your paparazzi, you can insert your points of interest and also um, uh, connect lines, let's say following uh, the roads from one place to the other. Hence, follow, kind of use it in navigation mode afterwards. And th the part that in the latest release came in was due to the fact that some users were using it more for tourist application, we added some button to share position, data, pictures, and those kind of stuff in social networks. One very important thing, in my opinion, if you go out in the countryside, is also the fact that you can not only share stuff through um, internet to a network connection, but you can also use uh, SMS. So you are able to send your position to another device via SMS, which is sent uh, through a um, GeoSMS uh, a standard format, which can then be opened with various applications. And obviously, in Joe Paparazzi, it can be opened and it will place a nice star on your map and show you the incoming, uh, the position of the incoming message. And last but not least, and this is a feature that is okay for both professional and non professional use, there is a nice, huge, bold panic button. It's very red on the bottom of the dashboard, you can just open up the slider and you will find this bold button. If you put in your settings, 
a phone number or more than one phone number that you want to be advised of your position once you get in trouble, you do that in your setting and from everywhere you can just very quickly push the panic button. It will send a request for help to the people with the with the devices referring to the numbers that you have in your settings. So this, I think, is very nice. We did this because my, my colleague walks out in the mountains alone, and, and it's important to be on the safe side. So to close up, a typical use of Joe Paparazzi as a tourist application is really to prepare your tracks at home. You, you start for a holiday. My parents use it for when they go out for trekking for a week, they prepare all their nice treks from one place to the other. And they even uh, take the hotels, the coordinate of the hotels from the booking websites. The, my mother even wrote once, to, they came to a hotel and the hotel was a bit out of the given coordinate. And she opened up an issue on booking.com that they were supplying wrong coordinates. That was kind of cool. <laughs> 